What's up guys, Sports Gamer 311 here, back with another video, and today we'll be talking about what the Yankees should do with their young talent. Now the first person we're going to be talking about in today's video is Clint Frazier, who the Yankees acquired on July 1st of 2016 when they traded Andrew Miller to the Cleveland Indians for Clint Frazier, Justice Sheffield, Ben Heller, and a prospect to be named later. Now ever since the Yankees have acquired Clint Frazier, He's played with them in 2017, 2018, 2019, and this year, 2020. Now, in none of those seasons has he really gotten consistent playing time, but this year, in the substitution of um, Aaron Judge and Giancarlo Stanton, he has hit pretty well. Now, the next player we're going to be talking about in today's video is Miguel Andujar, who the Yankees signed as an international free agent in July of 2011. Now, Miguel Andujar is a completely different story from Clint Frazier because Miguel Andujar actually has had a year where he played 149 games and was second in Rookie of the Year vote. But unfortunately for Miguel Andujar, last year, at the beginning of the season, he was injured sliding back into third base against an early season game against the Orioles. And ever since then, a guy by the name of Gio Urshela has come up and has just smacked the baseball all over the field and hit very well. And it's left Miguel Andujar with no job. Now, the fortunate thing for Miguel Andujar and Clint Frazier is that the Yankees are a team that get injured very often. So they've had jobs consistently, but only for like 20 game stretches. Now, both Miguel Andujar and Clint Frazier have played in 2020, where Clint Frazier has looked good, and Miguel Andujar looks like he can't hit a baseball. Now, the question is, what should the Yankees do with Clint Frazier and Miguel Andujar? Because eventually they're going to go through arbitration, they're going to become free agents, and they're going to have to pay them. So the question is, should they trade them? Should they keep them? Should they get rid of somebody else? So names that have come up in this year's trade deadline, which is uh, coming up in under a week, are Zach Plesak, Mike Clevenger, Trevor Bauer, and Taiwan Walker. Now, it only came out today that the Yankees were interested in Taiwan Walker, who's probably the lowest known pitcher and least productive pitcher out of the names I just mentioned, but he could be a good option in New York. Now, Zach Plesak and Mike Clevenger have gotten into a little trouble with the Indians this year as they left the, uh, like, sort of bubble area that at the MLB's wanted. Even though they don't have an exact bubble, they were supposed to stay in their hotel and they went somewhere else. So they haven't played in quite a while. But Trevor Bauer is on a struggling Cincinnati Reds team who might look to trade him because he's an upcoming free agent. So he could also be a half-season uh, acquisition for the New York Yankees. Now, personally, I would like to see the Yankees keep Miguel Andujar and Clint Frazier because I believe that they both have a bright future in the MLB. But unfortunately, because of all their other talent, it really doesn't seem like that can happen. So personally, I think the Yankees should keep Miguel Andujar and Clint Frazier, find a spot for them somewhere because they have a lot of talent and I wouldn't want to see them leave New York. But on the other hand, the Yankees also need a lot of pitching because of how injury bug they are. And a pitcher like Zach Plesak, Mike Clevenger, or Taiwan Walker could really help their pitching staff. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.